So Gary, first day back after a, well, a, a weekend without a fixture, I take it you must have been putting the, the lads through their paces nevertheless. Yeah we did, we, um, you know, we was in all over the weekend, we, we felt we needed to get a little bit organised, um, we needed to be in any way because we, we couldn't leave them um, being disappointed at home, mm -hmm. you know, we were, because we, we did quite a lot that game. Um, and had we come away 2-0 winners, we'd have said that we played quite well. Yeah. And uh, I think you'd agree with that because listening to our, uh, watching our tape and listening to your commentary, which is always not bad, uh, yourself and Chris Spittles is good. Um, and obviously um, it was a matter of the boys taking out the good and we had to work, you know, taking the good out of it and working on the bad, if you like. And, um, Listen, there wasn't a lot bad. There was that the one chance they took. There wasn't too much after that. Merrick had to make a couple of comfortable saves, but it was generally us that was putting Millwall under, under pressure. So that was why it was disappointing because we felt we we should have won the game, and and that's probably why all of us were support uh, were disappointed. Just the fact that you know we, in my opinion, we was the better team on the yeah. day, and really should have come away with a result. I know you, before the game on well last Tuesday you described it as the biggest game in the club's history. Yeah. Um, home tomorrow night and then home against Doncaster. How big is this week? Well, the, the whole every every game becomes even bigger than yeah. the last. You know, and whether you get a win or not, they're, they're, they're all massive because you, you we've got to, we've got to try and put two wins together anyway, as quickly as we can to get back in the race. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Now, yes, the others are not particularly flying away, but when whoever gets two wins will find himself in a much more comfortable position. So for Wednesday, got a couple of wins on the trot, got out of trouble. Yeah. Um, uh, Birmingham had a little spell, they had a couple of wins away on the trot, got out of trouble. So, you know, all of a sudden, you, whereas us, we've got to now get a couple of results to get back in the race. And, um, and really, that's what we've got to do. And to do that, We've got to be organised, we've got to know what we're doing, um, and we've got to make sure we're doing everything we can to get a result. Yeah. We did that by one uh, lax uh, in, the, in the penalty area that, that, that gave them their goal. But uh, you know, we did a lot that game to go and win it. So anyway, we moved on, and I'll just keep flashing back to it because I was as disappointed as anybody else. Um, but there's enough games for us uh, to sort it out. Yeah. We know where we are and what we are and who we are um, at these levels. You know, when Millwall are bringing in the players for the finances they're bringing in, um, uh, you know, I'm not sure that um, on the day we'd have wanted to have swapped any of our players um, for theirs. On the day, that's not to say who's better than who, but um, I thought both teams created a very good game actually because it was in, it was pretty end to end. Mm. Um, seeing as both teams were under pressure to win the game. A draw was better for them than us, of course, um, but it, it certainly is better than us getting beat. The gap at the weekend, the safety widened by a point. I think that's probably perhaps a, a positive, perhaps, that it wasn't any bigger. Yeah, well, exactly. I mean, the difference between that one point and three points is not only the obvious, two points. Let me know I can do my match. <laughs> but um, the less obvious of, um, of it really not making them get away from us in any, in any shape or form. And, uh, you know, we, we, we've got these two games in hand now. Two games in hand ain't always six points, mm. but they are in hand. And, um, and so we've got them to, to work to when it comes round, there'll be a game when they're not playing and we are, and um, and hopefully we'll have enough points that uh, there'll be the games that we we, we, we leapfrog a couple of teams. Okay. And as we talk here this afternoon, the, the covers are going back out on the pitch, so the weather continues to be an issue. I don't think the rain is going to be quite as persistent, maybe as heavy as it has been, but obviously the showers aren't going to be so persistent. Does that still play a, a part in your preparation? It, it does play a part in your preparation. For a start, it's very difficult to prepare yeah. for the simple reason of uh, there's not enough surfaces that you can train on in that in that heavy weather, if you like. Yeah. And we've had the, the brunt of it. And, uh, you know, if it wasn't for sort of Sherbourne again, but Butler's Mead School and there, 
AstroTurf, we would we would be in trouble. Yeah. Um, so anyway, we, we we're getting through that and we're working through it and um, and trying to be as organised as we can be and as effective as we can be in the in the situation, if you like. But um, that's not an excuse because there's still all the hours and you can still train on muddy pitches, but you just don't get the yeah. get the quality. But um, the boys have been great. They they know the situation and uh, and. and you know, not one of them has, has been moaning yet. You know, they they all understand the, the, our plight. The trip to Vicarage Road in November brings back happy memories for the Old Town fans. It was the start of that little mini run, wasn't it? Do you think that's going to figure in the thoughts of Watford when they come in tomorrow, even though there has been a change in manager? I think it it, it won't in the manager's mind because he's it wasn't his his team at that time. <coughs> but I think maybe in some of the players' minds, I think. Yeah. Um, the manager that's come in has, has, has less gone for uh, an open game yeah. like uh, Gianfranco did and he's gone for a much more solid defending numbers behind the ball game <laughs> um, and credit to him to, because to get good players to do that and work as hard as they're working at the moment is why they I think have, like, have had quite a few clean sheets over the um, you know, over the last few weeks. Now I know they were two 0 up at, against Leicester, and then um, and then got uh, and then drew two two. So that was two against them. But they're, they're 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 hard to beat, and the Leicester goals, you know, had to be two very very well worked goal, and a, you know, one of them was a 35 yard strike sort of thing. So we're not taking them lightly, or this new manager because he seems to have got them organised and, uh, and they are picking up points even though they're not an open, the beautiful game playing yeah. football. OK. A um, couple of injury worries from last week. Well, ongoing injury pro issues perhaps with Sam Hoskins and Liam Davis. Are they any closer to being able to make the cut? I don't think so, no. No, they, they, we, we, we thought they might be. Um, you know, there's always little setbacks when people have injuries and uh, they, they try and do something. We, we call them pitch sessions before with the physios before they come to us. Mm -hmm. And then you know, often they, they get a little feeling so they have to set, take them out for a couple of days. You know? So no, they, they, um, they won't be involved this weekend. OK, and you're also chasing international clearance of Ruben Palazuelos. Is that any closer? Well, I, I'm, I'm waiting any minute now for, for, that to, for us to get the OK as we speak. It's it's not in yet, mm -hmm. but we've still got three or four hours and all of tomorrow to uh, to get that clearance through. So we're sure we're sure it's in the system. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, if the postman can get through, then um, it should be okay, and and he'll be uh, involved on uh, on Saturday on Tuesday. Okay, uh, we're looking to uh, the West Ham are trying to get as many people in green and white at these home games for these ne the next two home games coming. What difference does it make? to be surrounded by three stands that is you know, full of colour, full of green, full of white? Well, it always makes a massive difference because it gives, it puts party, uh, people in a party mood when they leave the house because they've dressed up a bit, yeah. they've dressed for the occasion. It's certainly great for the home side because of the partisan support is always positive and when it's all the colours, you know, they, it's exactly, you know, I didn't know that but it's a fantastic idea. Um, and also for the opposition, it gives them a feeling that they're in somebody else's home, yeah. and uh, and that's good. We want to try and make them feel uncomfortable if we can. Um, so it's um, you know it's uh, it's something that's a great idea. Whoever thought of it, if it was you, well done. You're going to claim it, or no. <laughs> um, and it's something that does that does help. You know, a green and white night is always a good night. And also as well, well you know, with, with Doncaster as well, former non-league. Adversaries, league adversaries as well. So it's something to capture the, the imagination. Is that the game you're doing it for, the yes. Doncaster yeah. game? Yeah. Well, that's that's great. It's a Saturday, isn't it? Yeah. So it's not a, a night game. I don't know, green and white Saturday afternoon. That don't go as good. So what's not my idea? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but the Doncaster game is a great one to have it on. Um, there, we can pull them back towards us a little bit, but it's more for us. We've got to get. And win that day. The same as you know, we've got to beat all the teams around us, and then see where we are later on. But you know, what is it? Uh, how many games left? Seventeen. Seventeen. Seventeen games left. There's still a lot of points to play for, and um, you know, in our little group down the bottom there, um, you know, we're all picking up 
the odd point, some, you know, if you look, there's still people below us in the form table, mm. if you like, do you know what I mean? So uh, we just got to keep going, we've got to get this elusive win, and then the more elusive, 